DMX out is especially useful if you want to control smaller DMX devices like fog machines or haze machines and if you don't want to use an external controller for DMX. So DMX is available straight from Show Controller Live and I'm going to show you how this works. What we have here is a laser with a built-in ShowNet interface that has the DMX output available. You can also use an external ShowNet interface with the DMX adapter. It works the same way. So what we have here is a TARM unit with DMX out connected and the DMX cable goes to this haze machine. Now this haze machine has two control channels. One is for the haze and the other one is for the fan. So we have to control two channels and this is directly available in Show Controller Live. First of all, before we can control the DMX out channel in our inbuilt show net, we need to switch the show net to DMX sender. So the show net needs to act as DMX sender. As standard, it is set to receiver so you can remotely control your laser with DMX. But in this case, we want to send DMX signals. So if you have a laser with an internal show net, you need to switch that to output, DMX output. If you use an external show net interface with a DMX adapter, it's no problem because you have both active at the same time and you will not have the option to switch between in and out because it obviously is active all the time. So let's open the show net admin tool. As you can see here, this laser is connected with a network cable to the computer and it's set to auto IP, so it automatically negotiates the IP address. So we use the laser with network and then later get the DMX signal to our external device. So first of all, we need to switch the DMX to DMX out. We do that using the admin tool. So we open up the admin tool and then we head to settings. And in settings, if you have an internal ShowNet mainboard, this only applies to the internal. If you have an external interface, this option is not available. But with an internal interface, you have this option, which means DMX port mode. And you can simply switch that to signal out. We hit store data, confirm the writing to the board, and we need to wait for the configuration to be written to the mainboard. It is important that after the settings have been written, you need to reboot the ShowNet mainboard for the settings to take effect. So as soon as our admin tool gives us the information that we should do the reboot, we obviously do it. Now, it tells us to do the reboot. I just unplug the power and plug it back in. So this actually reboots the ShowNet interface. Okay, so laser powers up. I switch to show controller live. I open up the control center to check if our hardware has been connected. And yes, it is there. And I don't have to do anything anymore. Shownet one, the one that is on device one and set to channel one, this one outputs DMX. The other ones don't. So make sure that on channel one, your device is connected if you have more than one laser. So on channel one, we have output for DMX. Nothing to do here anymore. We close that and we head to the tab fog at the external controls panel. Here we have the option to enable the uh, fog control or DMX control. You could also use it with like smaller park hands, but this is mainly for fog control. And we have channel one. In our case, channel one controls the pump and channel two controls the fan. And we want to put the value of the fan to 255 and the value of the pump to 255 as soon as we enable the fog. And this is fine for the fog machine we have in use here. We switch back to APC overlay and down here we have the option to enable fog machines. This is what we need to hit. Then we can enable our laser output and you see we have laser output just behind me there is laser output and if we hit now fog now you can hear that the fans spinning up 
Haze machine obviously takes some seconds to output haze, but to ease the process, I can also switch the fog machine to permanently on, and we see there is fog coming out of the fog machine, of the haze machine in this case. Switch it off, haze is off. So it is that simple. Simply switch the internal show net to DMX out, make sure it is connected in the control center, set your fog settings at the fog tab, and then enable the fog machine and you're good to go.